Hey guys, it's Erica with Sirens Aquatics. In this series, we're going to look at a few aquarium mishaps that every fish keeper comes across at some point or another. Today, we'll focus on leaky filters, more specifically a leaking hang-on back filter. Eventually, the day comes when you wake up to standing water around the base of your tank, on the floor, etc., around your stand. Seriously, it happens to everyone, even someone more well-known like Rachel O'Leary or the king of DIY. Oftentimes, it's gut-wrenching, a complete total loss of life, and it's really unfortunate. Sometimes it's unavoidable, and sometimes it's not. It recently happened to the tank that I'm showing you here, so I recorded the process I went through to get everything up and running. Thankfully, it wasn't anything too major, but it's sometimes really common. There are a couple ways you can troubleshoot a Hagen, Fluval, or AquaClear hang-on back filter, and I'm going to show you now. The first thing you need to do is to get yourself some aged water or some old tank water and you need to clean out the inside of your filter. A lot of time these sponges are filled with crud, waste, you know, rotting plants, all that stuff. So you want to tank it out and rinse it really well with some aged water or aquarium water so that you don't disturb or kill all the bacteria that you have colonized on that sponge. And since this is from a goldfish tank, it's pretty well clogged, so it looks pretty nasty. If the water's too hot, it can also kill some of the bacteria, so make sure you're using at least room temperature, if not matching the temperature of your tank. Sometimes it can be handy just to pull out a gallon from your tank as you're cleaning the filter, and then you won't disturb too much of that colony. So just keep pouring that in there, squeeze it really well, move on to your other sponge if you have any. You can also rinse out the ceramic media that you have in there or any of the inside parts like the container. Although that usually doesn't lead to a clog or a leak but you should check the plastic housing for any cracks that could allow a leak to take place. Another important part is your impeller. And if you have one of the brands that I mentioned before, all the pieces come apart. And I wanna take a moment to look and you can see the algae and the things that are trapped there. So just fling it out, get a toothbrush, scrub it, rinse it, screw it back on. Then it's time to put it back, okay? So that was pretty simple, right? Just plug it in, get another gallon of aged water to prime it with and let it do its thing. Sometimes these filters take a little bit of time to begin priming and running again. So don't lose heart if you have to fill it and it takes a little bit to get that suction going. It's pretty normal for them to behave this way. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. Don't forget to subscribe and like our channel to keep up with all future content. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and we'll see you next time.